This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 10 of the bathroom tutorial. Uh, we're going to start out by bringing this over here and making a copy of it. Okay. Then on this copy, we're going to scale it out a bit just because we're going to use it as a pro boolean object. Select these and just delete them. Okay. Select these, backspace, backspace. Didn't mean for that to happen. Should be a few on the bottom. Get rid of those as well. Alright, now we should be good to go with our Boolean object. Yeah, alright. Next, let me get the dimensions for the door. So it is 4.25 inches off the wall itself. So, make a little box right here. Bring it out. Change the height to 4.25. Alright, next go into the left viewport. Select both the Boolean object and your door. And just line it up and bring it a little ways off the ground. Not too far, but enough to make a gap of sorts. Alright. Next, let's just make a copy of this way over here. Bring this directly in the middle of the wall. Select the wall. Compound objects. Pro Boolean. And start picking. Pick the large box. And of course, it's not going to work because it doesn't want to. So let's Control Z that. And convert this back to an editable poly. Let's do it the old-fashioned way. Select these two, left viewport, and actually, let's select these as well. Connect, and slide it. Okay, just make one segment and don't do anything to it. And then bring it up manually to the door. And actually, it's alright if you make it a bit bigger. Just so that we can give the door a little bit of room to play with. Go back into perspective here. And next, you're going to want to select. Uh, let's see these two lines and these two connect okay left hand viewport and pretty much line it up to this line the final step in the process is going to be select that poly and that poly oops not that one that one and bridge and this will give us a hole in the wall. And if we're lucky, our door will slip right in, and it does. Next, what we're going to have to do is edit this molding right here. Um, so, select the verts on this end and just bring it back. And it fits more or less right like so. Okay. 
we forgot uh, one of the lines, so I'll go back here, connect, okay, and just line it up to this side of the door as well. There we go, now we can select the rest of those things. Bridge, okay. this back in right. you can delete this little box and bring the vert to this crown molding back do now is select this bit of crown molding here <coughs> and push it quite far back. Then if I pivot up send an object. Okay. Copy it. Rotate it ninety degrees. Actually we need to rotate it this way. Put it right back. to the floor like so and just drag it up to the top of the door for this part, we'll uh, continue in the next one.